Hello there! I know what you're about to ask. Can you build a robot using a Robo 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 kit, a spray bottle, and a towel? The short answer is yes. Tigerbot, clean as it goes. Hello there! At this point, you've seen what the robot does, how it works, how it was made. But have you seen the parts? Let me show you. A CPU board to act as the brains of the machine, two servos to actuate the spray, two DC motors to allow the robot to move, a 5 button IR controller to control the robot, an IR receiver to receive the controls, two wheels, wheels don't need explanations, and two battery packs for power. Also, don't forget the spools. Sp 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 Some PVC tubing to act as structural support for the roller felt towel to absorb the moisture, and a spray bottle to spray liquid. Hello there! In this section I'll be teaching you how to code for the machine. Hello there! Coding slash programming is the process of writing instructions in the machine. The robot takes these instructions and outputs various actions. In our case, it's moving the servo motor to specific angles and revving the DC motors at the push of a button. The IR controller sends specific signals which tell the robot to do a specific action. In our case, we have five signals that command the robot to do five specific actions. Press button one, both motors move forward. Press button two, both motors move backward. Three, backward and forward, causing the robot to turn right. Button four, forward and backward, causing the robot to turn left. And here's the special part. Button five, it causes the first servo motor to move at 240 degrees and the fourth one to move at 10. Notice how at the second line of code, they switch angles. It, this creates a butterfly motion, therefore pulling the wire which holds the spray and actuating the spray to shoot water. This part here just tells the robot to not do anything if no buttons are being pressed. Okay, so can you briefly explain what can Kaigobot do? Kaigobot's designed to move, spray, and wipe. A combination of those three actions allow Kaigobot to clean surfaces. What is Kaigobot? How does it work? Kaigobot's basically a computer. You input a signal, it outputs an action. You press a button, it does something. Kaigobot uses a 5-button IR controller. Four buttons are dedicated for movement, while the last button is dedicated for actuating the spray. Why is Kaigobot important? Why is Kaigobot important in an era of COVID-19? Because Kaigobot can clean surfaces and reduce human contact with those surfaces. Can you still improve on the design? Can Kaigobot be improved? Yes, Kaigobot can be made more efficient, more effective, and most importantly, automated. What was the most challenging part when designing Kaigobot? The challenging part in designing Kaigobot was the servo motor because it didn't have enough torque to actuate the spray. So the simple solution was actually just adding another servo motor. Kaigobot was created to reduce exposure to infectious surfaces, such as hospital countertops and tables. Kaigobot can be controlled using a remote. The robot then moves, sprays disinfectant, and wipes the surface clean, making it safe to the touch. The purpose for creating Kaigobot is to serve as an initial concept. We hope that it can be expanded further in the future. We believe an automated design that is adaptive to the environment and proven effective at disinfection can help medical workers by taking time away from simple yet repetitive tasks, reducing human error, manual labor, and the risk for infection. Kaigobot, clean as it goes.